Divers and people who spend a lot of time underwater, what's the creepiest most unexplainable thing you've seen while in the depths? I'm a commercial diver and was once on a job cleaning a potable water reservoir. I'd been in other reservoirs before, but this was by far the biggest, at 40x80 meters. To get in you had to open a hatch in the ground, the whole reservoir was underground, and climb down a ladder. The hatch was in a corner, so when you were in the far corner of the reservoir, it was completely pitch black, and you just had to hope your light didn't go out. I was about halfway through a 3 hour dive when the batteries in my torch started going flat. I watched the beam get narrower and dimmer, until it cut out completely. It's not a huge problem, if you lose light, as you can just follow your umbilical back to the hatch. Just as I started walking back, some obnoxiously loud banging started somewhere in the reservoir. I was the only diver in there, so it both confused and scared the shit out of me. Needless to say I ran back to the hatch as fast as I could. I ended up getting my torch changed out and doing another hour in the water, but didn't hear the noise again. I still have no idea what it was, but the combination of my torch going out and loud banging coming from somewhere gave me a hell of a fright. I've done a number of dives, and the strangest thing I ever saw was a large deep freezer with a heavy industrial chain wrapped around multiple times with about 5 cinder blocks attached. It was very very rusted, and the deep freezer itself had to have been 30 plus years old, probably more. This was about 90 feet deep just off Vancouver Island, Canada. The situation gave myself and the other divers the noobie-jeebies, logged the GPS and depth coordinates, and notified the police. We were able to find out what was inside, since one of the divers had friends with local police 10 porcelain dolls. You can dive in man-made lakes and check out what's left of old flooded homes and communities. It's pretty dark and spooky down there no matter what, especially when you think of all the big fish swimming around that are barely silhouettes until they're close. My buddy likes to dive in lakes. He said the creepiest thing, by far, is finding cemeteries 100 foot plus beneath the water in the dark. Here he quiet. I dive myself, but heard this story from a guard diver. In 2010 a man took a test drive in a car with a salesman, and in a suicide attempt he drove the car off the pier into the sea and drowned. The salesman managed to escape my breaking the window and swimming to the surface. The divers were dispatched to retrieve the other man's body. This isn't in the news report which I have a link to below for anyone interested. Simply through working in marinas at the time I was able to be part of the conversation with the diver in question. When he got to the car, he said, the man was still facing forward, hands on the steering wheel, eyes wide. He'd been there a couple of hours now, where it gets creepy is, when the diver opened the driver door, this combined with the smashed window caused the currents to flow through the car and the man's wide-eyed head turned around slowly with the force of it to face the diver. I dropped my goggles and was trying to reach down in the river and grab it, but I pulled out a sheep skull by its sockets. Wasn't as creepy in hindsight, but 10 year old me was scared. I had a dive master that told me once he was diving somewhere and found a full skeleton wearing diving gear with the air on the tank, turned off pretty deep down. If I remember correctly they said they reported it to the police, and it was found out the man's wife turned off his air while they were on a dive to murder him. I once went diving in Port Elizabeth, South Africa where it is quite popular to see sharks. We begin diving, and we are quite far from the shore, there's a cool looking structure under us, we swim towards it to get a closer look and I just start getting this cold 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 feeling running through my body, and that's when a shark appeared, and I physically shat myself from fear. Not a diver, but I was on a boat just outside Plet, when we encountered a group of seals out in the open water. I threw on a snorkel and hopped in the water while the seals were being curious around the boat. After a couple of minutes, the seals suddenly decided to all leave the area almost instantly. I had seen a copper shark earlier in the distance, but seals aren't afraid of something small like copper sharks. 
It took me about 3 seconds of floating alone to realize that this was one of the dumbest things I had ever done. The swim back to the boat was a very long 10 meters. Rescue slash recovery diver here. Every time I've recovered a drowning victim I get the creeps. Unfortunately a lot of people are under the impression that every underwater environment is like the movies and there's absolute clarity that's rarely the case. One evening I got called out for a young girl that jumped from a bridge. She likely survived the fall and entry. We have a morbid term for what happened to her upon hitting the water. Plugged I found her with a surprising amount of visibility in relatively shallow water. She was stuck in the mud to just below her knees, and you could see the fear locked into her eyes slash face. There's nothing peaceful about suicide by bridge. A dam in the Waikato, New Zealand had begun to have visible cracks in the concrete on the outside part of the dam and some drivers were organized to dive down and check the inside submerged part of the dam for damage on that side. While they were down there, there was the usual debris you would find behind a man-made wall which prevents the water from flowing as it would normally do if there wasn't a dam there. Turns out what they thought were large logs were in fact huge eels which had gotten to the size of logs due to being prevented from migrating to the sea where they breed and die. So from being prevented from doing their natural life duties they just get larger and larger. An old WW2 ammunition ship off the south coast of England was full of brass topped shells. Most had been taken by divers over the years and it was now very rare to see them apart from a pile in one corner of the ship. This pile of shiny brass metals was miraculous unto shade and remarkably clean. After spending years underwater and you only found out why if you swam near them. Out of the murky darkness the largest eel I have ever seen snakes forward. Without exaggeration this thing had a head the same size as a horse's head, full of jagged teeth. I could not see the body as it looped into the dark and deeper into the ship. No one got near those shells. Turns out for years this thing had been guarding the shiny brass shells, slithering over them making them shine. We found out at the bar later that he was famous in the area and many people went to the wreck just to see him. No idea why this giant creature was guarding them like a dragon and its horde, but some said eels are like magpies and like shiny things. This isn't my story but my dad's. So when he was in grad school he did some field studies classes some of which involved diving in Monterey Bay. One day he was diving counting something off of the Santa Cruz pier and he finds a shopping cart with bricks and cinder blocks and a chain attached to the handle. He naturally followed the chain and found a bare foot wrapped in the chain. He assumes something probably ate the rest of the body and apparently his friends had seen similar things too. I used to do a lot of night dives hunting for lobster off the coast of California. We'd start at 9 or 10 at night so everything is obviously pitch black besides where we were pointing our lights. Every so often I'd get this unshakable feeling that something big was watching or following me. Sometimes I could quiet that part of my brain and continue with the dive. Other times I couldn't shake the feeling and would end the dive after a few minutes. It's a hard feeling to describe, but I guess I'd compare it to being in a haunted house, but 50 feet underwater in complete darkness. Not a diver, but, when I was surfing NZ's west coast beach I felt something wrap around my leg, so I looked down, and it was fishing line, so I tried to pull it up, and then the line got heavy, I assumed it was a fish, but as I pulled the line closer it got really heavy, and I began to sink, so I hoped on my board, and paddled closer to shore, I slid off my board, and was in chest deep water, my friend came over cause he noticed something was wrong. We both pulled the fishing line in, and we saw a large silhouette in the water, so we dragged it to the surface, and it was a dead body, someone rock fishing, fell off the rocks last week and was missing, there was a hook stabbed into his neck, and fishing line wrapped around his face and dug into his skin. We brought the dude's body to the shore, and called in the lifeguards then threw up due to the lack of his eyes. I do not dive often, but I had gone to a lake with a couple of friends and we were all diving in different parts of the lake to look for others lost belongings. 
I was bringing up an ammo box I had found I looked over to a group of my friends at the dock and one was holding what looked like a small cloth bag, so I didn't really bother walking over to check it out and kept diving. Turns out it was a bag full of small urns with the same name on it. It really spooked us, so we figured whoever put it there wants it there, so we put them back and left almost immediately afterwards. So, three days ago I went snorkeling off Nember Island in Zanzibar. Everything went normal, and we start heading back. I grab my net bag, and put my black fins, black mask, snorkel and black wetsuit inside. Once back ashore, I grab my bag, jump off the boat and head to the rental office to return the equipment. At that point I feel my bag is moving somehow. At first look, it seemed like a flat, black, worm squirming quickly. After rotating the bag, I realized I was looking only at the tail of an otherwise one meter long black sea snake, one of the most venomous reptiles I could find, trying to get out of the net. How it got there, I have no freaking clue. Not a frequent diver, but I once went in Mexico and heard whale calls while entering a small tunnel. Halfway through, the echoes reverberating off the walls of the cave were really haunting. Sounded like a lot of screeching people.